there, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee and this is my kitchen. I am so glad you were here. I cannot wait for you to stay home and cook with me. Tonight, I am making pasta Renee style. Spring is here, y'all. It is so nice outside. It is sunny, it is warm. I've been to the, the park with my dogs. I've been out on a walk. And when the weather is that way, I just kind of want something light. And so tonight I'm gonna make a super light pasta dish that has a wine and lemon sauce. It's full of chicken and vegetables and it's called pasta Renee style. So stay home and cook with me and let's cook some pasta. Here's what you need to make pasta Renee style. Two cans of diced tomatoes. I prefer the petite cut and I also like fire roasted tomatoes if I can find them. You can use crushed tomatoes, you can use regular cut, just whatever you prefer as long as you have two cans. And I am making pasta Renee style to feed five people. Three tablespoons of real butter, three carrots, asparagus, if you don't like asparagus, you can always substitute snow peas or broccoli or any other vegetable that you like. A red onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, three tablespoons of lemon juice or the juice from one whole fresh lemon, whichever you have. One and a half cups of white cooking wine. Now, if you have white wine in your house, like regular wine, that is fine. I'm just not a wine drinker, so I always have cooking wine. And when you cook with wine, the alcohol is evaporated, so it just leaves a really good taste. If you're not comfortable cooking with cooking wine, then you can certainly use chicken broth. Three chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, extra virgin olive oil, Parmesan cheese, angel hair pasta, and salt and pepper to taste. So let's make pasta Renee style. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my vegetables cut up and ready. So I'm gonna keep my asparagus in a bunch. It just makes it way easier that way. And I'm gonna kinda cut the bottom half off. So this is just trash. Okay, so I wash my asparagus, group them together in my hand, and cut them into bite-sized pieces. There's always a couple to get away. I'm gonna do my red onion next. Just cut it in really thin slices. The thinner the better. And like I said, I'm gonna feed five people with this recipe, so I am gonna have quite a bit of veggies and sauce. I don't wanna dry pasta. Can you see how thin that is? Super thin. Then I'm gonna peel my carrots and then I'm actually going to do them, cut them the way I want them with the peeler. So just peel off a layer of carrot, or peel off the outside get rid of the peel chop off the top of your carrots and the ends of your carrots okay and because i want my carrots super super thin i'm gonna cut them the way I want them with the peeler and not with the knife. So I'm just gonna continue just like I was peeling them. But see how it puts it in super thin shreds? I'm 
And it doesn't matter if they're all the same size or not. Just kind of peel it until it gets super flimsy and you can't peel it anymore. Okay, so there are my kind of carrot ribbons. So my veggies are ready and now we're gonna cut up our chicken. So now we're gonna cut up our chicken and the light is coming in the window on my cutting board. I'm sorry guys, it's dinner time and it is what it is. So I got out a new cutting board. I always keep my chicken and my meat on a separate cutting board, making sure that it's never mixed with my vegetables. So I have boneless, skinless chicken breast that I've already cleaned and I wanna cut it into really small pieces. Just kind of like that. So the chicken is gonna cook super fast. And one little tip, I always buy large packages of chicken breast and I go on and trim them and freeze them in individual, uh, freeze them one by one in individual Ziploc baggies so I can get out exactly what I need. I'm not wasting anything and I don't have to clean chicken all the time. It's great. So you can see, just cutting the chicken in individual pieces like that. Okay, there's my chicken. Now I gotta wash my hands. Okay, so we're gonna turn on our pan, kind of medium heat. It's a little more than heat, medium heat. Turn on your pan to medium high heat. This is our three tablespoons of butter. Pop that in. And this is extra virgin olive oil. I just always like to add a dash of that too. When your butter is good and hot and melted, then you wanna add your chicken. To spread your chicken out in the skillet. And now we're gonna season it with pepper. And salt. We're gonna let the chicken cook until it's nice and browned. Because the chicken, we cut it so thin, it is gonna cook really fast. See, we're already starting to get nice and brown. So just toss it around so both sides of the chicken get cooked and make sure none of the, the chicken stuck together. Now the chicken is gonna continue to cook after we add the vegetables. So it doesn't, you make, just wanna make sure that you don't overcook your chicken at this stage. Mmm, see my chicken is getting all nice and brown. Okay, so I'm going to add my garlic. I'm going to add one tablespoon of garlic to my chicken. And we're going to let that cook for one minute, no more. We don't want to burn the garlic. While this is still really hot, I'm going to add in my cooking wine. And I'm just gonna let that simmer and do its thing and it's gonna cook out all the alcohol and make it taste so good. So just kinda let that sit for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to layer on my vegetables. So I've got my carrots, my asparagus, and my onion. Give everything a good stir, get your veggies down in the, 
in the wine and just let it cook okay so just keep giving it a stir see how my cookie wine is almost gone it's completely evaporated so I'm just gonna let my vegetables keep on cooking so my wine is completely evaporated out of here. It's been cooking for about seven or eight minutes. So at this point, I want to season again so that my vegetables are seasoned. Salt and pepper. And I wanna add my lemon juice, three tablespoons of lemon juice. Ooh, it's hot. Give that a good stir. Okay, now we're going to add in our two cans of tomatoes. get everything tossed together. And we're just gonna let that simmer away for about 10 minutes. So my pasta is good and reduced, my tomatoes are hot, and I'm gonna turn the heat off and make my plate. So I'm gonna get my angel hair pasta. I like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on my pasta before I put my sauce on here. Sprinkle with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So that is Pasta Renee style. Make your favorite piece of crusty cheesy bread and you are good to go. This is a delicious light chicken pasta meal that I know you're going to love. So thank you for staying home and cooking with me and making Pasta Renee style. I'll see you later.